Guess what, you guys? I got a clothing haul. I know I've been MIA, however, with the clothing hauls, because I've been actually uploading shorts. So if you ain't been looking at my shorts, what are you waiting for? But I have a haul from Boohoo, so let's get into these clothes. So I'm gonna try something a little different this time. So instead of showing you how I style while I talk about the item, I'm gonna actually go ahead and talk about the items all the way through. And then at the end, I'm gonna go ahead and style them all. I just kinda wanna try something new, you know, just spur up a little bit. So in the comment section below, let me know if you actually like that way of me doing my haul slash reviews of my um, fashion clothing items or you like it better when I go through the styling while I'm talking about the item. Let's go. Okay, so my thoughts on this. Um, as you can see, I, don't, I have no type of like silhouette. It's just kind of really boxy. So I got this in a size US 20. I'm normally at 18, so I should have actually gotten an 18, <laughs> but yeah, but I could possibly wear this like a, not like a trench coat, of course, because the trench coats are longer, but I could wear it as a pleather type of jacket that probably will go nice with it. Um, It does feel very... Thin, I will say that um, it's definitely not thick at all. It is really comfortable, and I don't know if you can see, but it does come a little past my knee, so it is pretty long too. And most likely, you would have to probably buy or have a belt, a small belt to cinch it in. That will probably do the trick just to give you a silhouette with this dress because it looks, makes me look a little boxy. But nonetheless, I feel like the pleather dresses are very versatile. So that's why I was drawn to it because I'm just like, oh man, that's like so versatile. So yeah, I just think that I should have actually got my size, which is 18 and opposed to going up a size. But yeah, thumbs up pretty long. Um, as you can see, so let's see about these pockets. These pockets are functional, which is good. Yeah, so it's just going to depend on how I'm able to style this particular article of clothing, whether I'm going to say yes or no to it. So when I get to that style portion, I'm going to see if I can style it. If I can't style it, then it's going to be a no for me. Um, but coming just out of the bag, I don't know about this. I don't know about this too heavy. But, yeah, that's really all to this. Okay, so this is the plus oversized love slogan shirt. Hear, hear me out. Hear me out. Because I know you're thinking like, girl, what? Just hear me out. For one, black and white together is just so classic to me. And it just pairs so well. I know it's just like, oh, it's just black and white, but it pairs so well together for some reason. And I was so drawn to the shirt because it was black and white, but it was the right amount of both colors. So with this shirt, you have love spelled out. So in the front, it's L-O. And then in the back, it's V-E. Like, that is crazy, right? That is crazy, right? So I was like, that's kind of hot. So yeah, that's why I got it. But this is pretty much like an oversized button-down shirt or button-up, however you say it. However you say it, I say button-down. A button-down shirt with a collar. The arms are pretty long. It's oversized, so you can wear it as a shirt. You can also wear it as a dress, depending on you know how you're shaped. And you can kind of, you know, cuff the shirt. You can tuck the shirt in. You can wear it lower. You can wear it, 
you can unbutton it to be a little bit high up. And then with this shirt, you can do your makeup any type of way. You can wear any type of lip with it. And you literally can wear this night or day. Come on now. Like, I, you know me. You know me. I love getting a multiple ways out of my shirts and my pants and my outfits. I love wearing it multiple different ways because that's how you don't have to spend thousands of dollars on a new wardrobe. You can just wear it up, wear it down, do whatever. But I just thought this shirt was just, I know somebody, somebody out there, I know you feel what I'm, where I'm coming from. I know you feel where I'm coming from, but yeah, so the, the material of this shirt is thin. It's not a thick button up shirt like you would get at a Macy's or Nordstrom's. Just keep that in mind. Um, it's not see-through, so you're going to be okay with maybe any type of bra, but maybe nothing colorful because you probably can still see it through the white. But yes, I just think this is just too cute. I just think it's so cute. Maybe you'll see the vision when I dress it up. So I'm going to let you have your moment now, but you'll see the vision when I dress it up. But yeah, this is pretty much that shirt. I did get this shirt in a size 18 because it did say it was oversized. So I didn't want to like go up. I just kind of took the oversized word and just assumed that just get my normal size. But yeah, you can do a lot with this. I love it. I love it. Next item is the plus sequin deep cuff shirt. And this is loud and proud. Okay. So if you do not have personality or you don't want to be seen, don't get this shirt at all. They do have like a lilac color. This is a lime color. And now that I'm looking at it, I feel like I should have gotten the lilac color because one i have a lot of green because green is my favorite color but two i think that lilac color would be so perfect so i might actually get the lilac color instead but this is the shirt um i will say that for this particular shirt you do need to be mindful of the type of bra that you wear or you can wear pasties new pasties those would be uh perfect too because it is see-through also, I will, I've noticed that you get a, a little bit of that feeling of sequin. So it's not lined on the inside. That's another thing that you need to be mindful of. But other than that, it's really a cute top. So if you see like the cuffs is like a flare and it has that slit right there. And this is how it looks in the back. This is a size 18. I think an 18 is actually a good size, um, depending on how I style it. I don't really like a lot of my items or my clothing really tight, just depending on what it is. I love that baggy type of look on me. So I tend to not get things that fit me directly, just the FYI. But yeah, th and this shirt is pretty long. It comes past my butt and it's like to the middle of my thigh so depending on how short you are you may can get away with wearing this like as a dress that'd be cute but i love that it i love that they made the sleeves long because i have long arms so that's normally a problem for me but yeah i really like the loudness of this shirt like i feel that you can really take on a whole new thing of dressing this. So I'm excited to see how I can dress it. You can also just be subtle too. You don't have to necessarily think too much when dressing this because the shirt is the statement. So you can pretty much keep everything else mutual and just go ahead and just do this shirt. So if you see... Um, I have on a tan bra now, and it is pretty much falling in the background of the shirt. But you do have to be mindful of what bra you wear, and you do have to wear a bra because you'll be showing your tatas if you don't.
So yeah, I'm feeling this. But like I said, I think I might go back and get that lilac color instead. Yeah. This is the striped oversized utility shirt. And this is just a regular button down striped shirt, but it's oversized. I will say this. I have noticed that me getting a size 18, things are extremely bigger. I mean, I know it's oversized, but I just recently bought um, a few things from Pretty Little Things. And I normally wear a size 18. That's what I normally get when I'm even shopping with Pretty Little Things. And things were extremely big for some reason. I know I'm not down in a 16 yet, so I don't know. Let me know if you've bought things from like Boohoo, Pretty Little Things, or Nasty Gal, etc. And let me know if the size 18s are a little bit different now. I mean, that's great if they, you know, really took their time and put more effort into the plus sizes. But let me know if you're experiencing that. But anyway, back to the shirt. The shirt does have pockets. These pockets are functional because, you know, sometimes you get the fake out pockets, but these are functional. So that's a plus. And it's pretty much just a regular stripe button down shirt. So with a stripe button down shirt, you can pretty much do anything with it. Um, you can even wear this as a dress depending on your size because it, it's it's pretty big <laughs> it's pretty pretty big um but you can uh also you know do a lot of cuffing and tying with your button down shirts that it give it a different look and you can also button it down maybe one more button and then accessorize so i like pieces where you like i said before you can kind of do a lot with them and they're semi basic so a button down striped shirt is semi basic to me but yes and this material is not like a regular button down shirt it's more of a i don't want to say nylon but it's more of that you know what it's almost comparable to it's like that linen type of material i think that's what i think that's the verbiage i want to say yeah, it's 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 pretty thin. It's like a paper linen. That's exactly what I want to say. It's like a paper linen type of material. That's the material of this specific shirt. The love shirt was a little bit more thicker in terms of material, but this one isn't. And then you have your collar, of course, and the arms checks out because I do have longer arms. And yeah. All right, so the next few things that I bought was I bought this gold belt and then I bought these stockings. These are just black tights. I have a pair of black tights, but they're blackouts. So they're pretty much all black. You can't see through them at all. And I really wanted a see-through type of black tights. So that's what I got here. And then I got a gold chain belt. It's just a regular gold chain belt. Um, I wanted to match this up with the outfit that I have because I think it would go perfect with it. So that's why I got this. I got some boots, but these aren't the boots that I ordered. So they sent me the incorrect boots. And they sent me the incorrect color. So these are the boots here. Um, yeah, they're all black, snakeskin. And yeah, and it has the Black Hill on it. But this isn't the color, nor is it the boot I asked for. But if you're interested, it says it's the square toe. It says it's the square toe heeled flare boot, but if you've seen, that wasn't a square toe. That was more of a pointed toe. So I'm not sure what that particular boot is called if you're interested in that i'm pretty sure you could probably look it up and see black and that is a mid boot because it comes to my calf so that's what that boot is but like i said that was totally incorrect 
<laughs> I purchased a whole different boot. Okay, so if you have been with me the entire time, make sure you like and, and commenting. Tell me which piece that you actually like. So let's go ahead and get the style into these pieces. clothing and styling haul make sure that you like comment and subscribe turn on your bell notification so you are notified when i upload my videos i'll see you in the next video oh, make sure you go look at some more videos okay bye got a lot of bands, got a lot of